Hello, this video is about a, a plugin for the Genesis framework which runs on WordPress um, and it's called Genesis Simple Edits. It will only work if you're using a theme that uses the Genesis framework. So, first of all you need to install the plugin and then activate the plugin. So when you've installed Genesis Simple Edits and you've activated it, go to Genesis Simple Edits and you'll see this screen. And what you've got are post info, post meter, back to top and footer credits. And they are different parts of your web page or your web post. It, it works on blog posts. So you've got post info, post meter, back to top and footer. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. So they're, they're the pieces of the, the parts of the page we're going to edit. Post info, post meter, back to top and footer. So, all you need to do when you've installed Genesis Simple Edits, go to Genesis Simple Edits, click this little blue link here that says Show Available Post Info Meter Shortcodes, and it'll expand. And it gives you a list of shortcodes you can paste into these different boxes. Now, if you paste, suppose we wanted to paste this post author display name or link to their archive, this particular shortcode, you need to copy the square brackets and the, the code inside it and just paste it into one of these boxes. Now, when you've done that, that will automatically put some code into your, web, into your blog post. So I'm just going to put a bit of text before that. So we'll have... Um, right, so now it says, written by, and it'll be a, a link to the author's... Um, like a, a blog listing of pages of posts by that particular author. So we've copied the shortcode, pasted it into one of the boxes. Now we need to save our changes, save settings, and we'll go back and look at what we've got. At the moment it says it's the date and the author's name. And we want it to be the author's name with written by. So we'll upload, we'll, uh, update the page, and now it says written by Jenny. I'll just zoom in so you can see. All right, skip it. There you see that it says written by Jenny. So I'll zoom back out again. If we click that, where it says Jen, Jenny is the author of this blog blog uh, post, but if we click that, it will show us a list of all the other blog posts that Jenny has written. See there, written by Jenny, written by Jenny, written by Jenny. All these are all posts that Jenny has written. Um, and that's how easy it was to do. We just chose a short code from here. There's different ones. There's, um, you can have a list of tags, a list of categories, um, things like that. And all you do, you choose one of the short codes from in here, paste it into post info or post meter. Post info is above your blog post, post meter is below your blog post, and then it will appear on the page. If you don't want any text to appear there, supposing you thought, oh, I don't want any text to appear here. All you need to do is just clear the box, click the save settings button. Now that text there will disappear because we've got don't have any text in the box. We've cleared that box completely. Now you can do a similar thing with the footer back to top link and the footer credits. Now the footer back to top at the bottom of the page here. When you scroll to a, the bottom of a long page, it's, it's a pain scrolling back to the top. So there's this little link, and it automatically scrolls you back to the top. And at the other side of the footer, you've got things like the um, a link to WordPress.org and a logout link. And you can change this area too. This is the footer credits. So all you need to do, find the part of the page you want to edit. So that's back to top. So we could change the back to top link there. I would leave that though, because it's really useful. Um, or well the footer credits, it's a long list of short codes there because there's a long list of things in our uh, footer credits here. Anyway, um, if you want to, this footer output, that just edits, th this is the left hand side and the right hand side of the footer, but this one footer output, you can modify the whole footer in one go if you want to. So, well that's the basics of how it works. So remember, Genesis, Simple Edits, 
expand the link so you can see the short codes and then there's a link here that says for more comprehensive short code guide see this page and that will take you to the studio press um, short code reference and you can use a lot of these short codes just read through it if you want to use them and there's all sorts of lo loads more information there for you so let's have a look I've made a uh, a little slide a couple of slides for you this is what we're dealing with post info post meter it's above below the back to top link there and the footer credits and when you change a, a short code that's in say the post info box if you put a different short code in there it'll change what appears here and you can also type text in by hand if you want to and Remember to click the blue link to expand the list of um, short codes that you can use. And if you want to, we can edit the full footer all in one go. But I won't worry about that too much. So, I think that's really all I need to tell you. Um, yep, I think I've told you everything I need to tell you. Well, thanks for watching, and bye for now.